Welcome back to First Edition. There's a fashion show on Thursday that not only showcases the latest trends, but helps one nonprofit continue their mission here in the Coastal Bend. Please welcome Margarita Velasquez. Uh, join us with the Hispanic Culture Institute, and we also have Joe Benavides, better known as The Judge. And we have a translator over here, Lolene Rodriguez, joining us. It's so good to have you guys here. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Y'all were on Domingo yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. If you could, what makes the so, uh, show so unique, and, and what is it all about? Yeah, so it's our inaugural event and it, we are showcasing the artifacts and outfits from the museum that members have donated from previous years from and the museum has been established since 1976. Why is that so important? Um, a lot of people don't know um, that this museum even exists. The Instituto de Cultura Hispanica de Corpus Christi has been around longer than I've been uh, been mm -hmm. alive, but um, we really want to bring awareness to that because it's we're kicking off Hispanic heritage and we want to do it very strongly. And this is something you're pretty passionate about too, Judge. Absolutely, and th what's amazing is that the um, museum, all the artifacts in it are, are donated by members of the um, Instituto and um, from South America, Central America, North America, Spain, Puerto Rico, so it's really um, a organization I want to see way beyond um, my time. There's something very unique I got to say about the coastal bend about South Texas that you, it's like a blend of maybe you could say up north and then the, the Mexico vibe coming in here and it just kind of merges and sits really pretty right here. That's right. Uh, in the coastal bend. So this is a chance to kind of showcase that? Yes and that's why it's, it's called Para la Cultura. It's for the culture. We want to be able to bring you know all kinds of generations out to be able to have a an all-inclusive um, community go support what or, or the origins of Corpus Christi mm -hmm. and the Coastal Bend. Uh, we have some information on the screen. It's my understanding that uh, high schoolers are going to be uh, the models. Uh, did you get to, to pick? No, sir. The, no, the sir. That was Margarita. So. That was okay. Okay. So <laughs> put again on me. Sure. <laughs> sure so, thanks, so to get them thanks, to participate, Jeff. it kind of helps the younger generation. Maybe it's like, oh, no, you know, I got other things to do, but just stop and reflect. That's right. It's stop and reflect what your generations have had previously. You're, you know, that way you don't lose the awareness to the language and just being around that the customs and you know the reason why we're doing this fundraiser is to be able to bring educational funds for educational programs and scholarships locally to Del Mar College, Texas A&M University of Corpus Christi and the Corpus Christi Literacy Council. I gotta point this out it's very uh, I find it very fascinating that we have a Lolina over here uh, translating it, it, you're trying to reach everybody. That's right that's right Lolina and I went to school together and um, we did the American Sign Language program over at Del Mar College, and mm -hmm. so I thought, you know, what better way to connect another community and bridge that bridge that relationship together and make it more of an impactful um, community. I think it's Absolutely. amazing and impressive stuff. We're going to have all the information on our website at ktriplitv.com. If you didn't like my interview here, you can always catch Domingo Live's interview. I'm sure Barbie did did y'all justice. Well, just stuff <laughs> I wanted to bring up is yes. that I wanted to um, thank all the sponsors mm -hmm. and also the Port of Corpus Christi, which major is our sponsor. major sponsor. Yes, we, uh, we thank them so, so much. And um, we represent, believe it or not, 27 countries. Wow. So from Impressive. Argentina, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Mexico, you know, it's just uh, 27 of them. So, so much diversity. Guys, thank you for coming on this Labor Day on a holiday, too. We appreciate that. Thank you Good so much for having us. Thank you, man. Absolutely.